Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters, this is brother Ijaz Ahmed of CallingChristians.com and today we're going to be looking at a video interaction that I had with uh, Pastor Samuel Green of Australia. Now, at this point on your screen, all you need to know is that Samuel is claiming incorrectly that in the books that we have which explain to us what manuscripts, the uh, variants and changes in the New Testament come from, he is claiming that at the bottom of the pages, what you will find as a primary evidence, that is the first thing which is listed, are the four text types. Now, these four text types are the Alexandrian, the Byzantine, Western, and Caesarean text types. What we're going to do is look at a picture of a page in which we should find this information according to Samuel. So, on this page, look at the red line on the screen. At this point, what it tells you is what the Greek text says. And then look at this other red line at the bottom of the page. You will see here that it tells you what the variant is in the text and what manuscripts it comes from. Now, to the right of that, the red line has moved again. And you will see the words TXT. So what does that mean? That means text. It means that the list of letters next to it uh, is basically what the words in the green box above where they come from, where these words in Greek come from in terms of their manuscript testimony. So all these letters refer to and numbers towards the end of the line uh, indicate that they come from multiple manuscripts. So let's see. It starts with Codex uh, Aleph, which is known as Codex Sinaiticus. That's the letter Aleph that you see there. Then the letter A, which stands for Codex Alexandrinus. Then you have the letter B, which stands for Codex Vaticanus. You have the letter C, which stands for Codex Ephraimi Rescriptus. You have the letter F, which stands for Codex Orgiensis. You have the letter G, which stands for Codex Boenia Arianos, etc. So it goes on and on. What you do not see are the four text types being mentioned here. You don't see the Alexandrian text type, you don't see the Byzantine text type, you don't see the Western text type, and you don't see the Caesarean text type. So we don't see what Samuel promises should be here in the book. So as you will see in the next clip, we're going to play the video of the actual conversation with him. He makes a claim that the book in front of him refutes me that it actually has these things listed primarily. But as you can see from the screenshot I have put up on the screen, that is not the case. So you will see when I actually call him out to use the book, see what happens. He actually fails at doing this. He actually refuses to open the book and even give one example. Why do you think that is? Right, so you're saying that we can know that what's in the 4th century manuscript exists in the 3rd, but you don't have 3rd century manuscripts that attest to the 4th century text. No, but uh, I've got the, the common source for all of those is testified to in other areas. And so, what other areas? Tell us. Well, well Sorry, because, can, can I ask you a question? The Roman Samuel? tradition, the Alexandrian tradition, the Caesarean transition. No, so we, tradition, we've done away with the textual right. types, right? Don't we refer to them as text clusters. But we do not say that the text clusters themselves determine what the original looks like. We, we don't say that. We say that these are characteristics of that specific textual tradition. Mm -hmm. Not that that specific textual tradition goes back to the 3rd, 2nd, or 1st century. Where do you get that claim from? Yeah. No, uh, of course they do. That They have to come from somewhere. So and they come from they go back to a common and that's somewhere and we gather what? all the information together. We gather that, all the information we have, right. and Samuel, then we look at it, and we Samuel, see... Samuel, work with me. You're telling me I know that in the fourth century, this is, has not been altered, it's not been changed based on that it comes from a common source. So your assumption there is that it comes from that. a common source. And so oh, no. just, just work with me, Samuel. So what text what text testifies to the text of Matthew previous in its full form in the fourth century, previous to the fourth century? Right. The different family streams which come from that earlier text. But so they you don't have come text. from an earlier text. From, the, the, early text. from the early text, what from the text? first time it's published, it, it goes out amongst the churches. So what it early text are you copied? What early well, text no, are you keep cutting me off. Um, well, no, because you, you keep repeating the same point. We know what's in the 4th century because it must come from an earlier source. It could be a source a decade earlier, a source two decades earlier. You're telling me it goes back to the earliest without having evidence for that. Because no, when I, I look... I, because if I look I, at my I New have, Testament, Samuel, like you I know have how evidence, it's multiple streams. 
So um, we're not most, talking about one the, transmission stream. We're talking about a transmission in different areas uh -huh. which go back to a common source. We may not have that common source, but the fact uh -huh. that we've got the streams coming out, they testify to that common source. So you treat it as if there's just let's, one let's, stream. There's not. We compare what, the different family groups. So let's work with that idea, Samuel. When I open up my Greek New Testament today and I look at the variants in the in the critical editions and the apparatus at the bottom, do they put textual families primarily or is yes. the primary source of well, evidence manuscript? Well, they, they do both. I've got my textual one here as well. They do, they do both. As a primary form of evidence. So can you just open up to any verse? Any verse that you have in front of you, because you had you said you had the book, right? So open yep. up the book for me. And for Matthew chapter one, verse one, right? What is the what is the what is the uh, textual family that they tell you in the critical edition? Tell us. Oh well, it, it may not have the family listed for that particular verse. Well, Why look you at any that? verse then? Any verse that you think it mentions it first? Because I want you to prove me wrong. Any verse, choose one random one, and I want the primary evidence to be the textual family first, and then the manuscript after. Oh, well, I, I, I don't know where that is. Um, but you but, but, that okay, there are absolutely family. There are absolutely family groups. There are. As a primary but, determined but, evidence, the answer is no. But you said you have that in the book in front of you. And now you're telling me, despite having the book, you can't give me a single example. I've just held up my book to the screen and contradicted your point. Yes, so I'm no. begging you, qualify okay. your claim. Please, I'm I, begging you. I... I can't find my way around that fast enough to get that specific. Just one. Right. You have told me. It's, just it's, it's absolutely. It is absolutely guaranteed that there are family groups. There's no doubt. And, and so you can just have a people here. Family family group group. There are absolutely independent family groups.